Hello friends and welcome to yet another episode of Culture Shock with me Sunita Iyer and today we take a look at how Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Chinese President Xi Jinping's informal summit at Mahamalapuram has brought focus back on the rich history of the UNESCO World Heritage Site. About 2000 years ago, Mahamalapuram was a part of a chain of eastern coastal trading ports connecting South Asia with Egypt, Rome, China and many Southeast Asian countries. These ports exported aromatics, spices, sandal, animals, cotton fabric, gems and pearls and imported spices, Roman gold, topaz, crude glass, tin, wine, ceramics and others. Mahamalapuram derives its name from the Pallava king Narasimha Varman I, popularly known as Mahamala, that is the great wrestler. He created most of the monuments between 630 and 668 AD. For Venetian and other European travelers, the place was familiar as Seven Pagodas. Beginning from about 600 AD, for a period of 200 years, the Pallavas created beautiful monuments, sculptures and paintings and influenced the subsequent development of what we call the South Indian style of temple art and architecture. Over a period of 40 years, King Mahindra excavated cave temples out of solid granite rocks. This was an innovation new to this region since almost all previous temples have been constructed of perishable material and have not survived. The descendants of Mahendra, especially his son Mamala and great-great-grandson Rajasimha focused their architectural activities at Mamalapuram. Here we find more than 30 monuments of four major categories – cave temples, bas reliefs, monolithic temples and masonry structural temples. Other Pallava structures include isolated sculptures, a breakwater, a stone throne and possibly a place that once housed a royal residence. The Great Penance Panel is considered to be the world's largest open-air bas relief. These rock-cut monuments portray contemporary interpretation of Hindu mythology in all its grandeur. Rajasimha initiated the art of building masonry temples both in Kanchi and in Mamalapuram. The show temple at Mamalapuram is a model for the great temples built by the Cholas and the grand temple entrances built later by the Vijayanagara kings. The Pallavas also excelled in painting all the monuments of Mamalapuram might have been painted to show finer details of contemporary dress, ornaments, scenery, plants, animals etc. Many monuments of Mamalapuram remain unfinished indicating perhaps wars, famine or other preoccupation over a period of about 100 years during which three or four kings supported the creative projects. Mamalapuram served as a major port during Pallavas who have had much more than a working relationship with the Chinese rulers. Many documents suggest that even a defense deal was inked between the Pallavas and the Chinese. It is also believed that a thriving silk industry in Kanchipuram was first established by the Pallavas who imported silk from ancient China and developed an industry in their own kingdom. Chinese traveller Huang Sang, who visited Kanchipuram in 7th century during the Pallava era, is considered the matchmaker between India and China. The meeting at Mamalapuram between Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Chinese President Xi Jinping is therefore a major milestone in Indo-China ties. Thank you for watching this episode of Culture Shock. Stay tuned to My Nation for more such videos.